Hey guys, Fobaliki here today, and I'm going to be showing you how to install Simple Playlist for Bucket. Now, I did do a tutorial on this before, however, I did change the plugin a lot since the last one, so I thought it was a good idea to do it again. So when you download the plugin, you'll get this file here, the simpleplayerlist.zip. We're going to open up that file, and we're just going to extract the content. You can extract it wherever you want, does not matter, I'm just doing it onto the desktop for ease of use. So we can delete the zip file now, because we've got the files we want. And once we open up the folder, we'll see three items right here. So basically, we have a plugin folder, a web folder, and an installation folder. You can, you can read the installation guide if you want, but you really shouldn't need to because I'm telling you how to do it right now. So, what we're going to do first off, we are going to put the plugin, which is uh, the jar file that goes on the bucket server. We're going to install that first because that's the easiest part to do. Um, not that the other part is harder or anything, it's just easier because this is just drag and drop straight into your plugins folder of your Minecraft server. So now that we've got that, we're going to start up the server just so we can generate the config file for it. And we should see simple playlist load up here, loading simple playlist v1.2 or whatever version you're installing. And we'll see that it says enabled, but it cannot connect to our URL. That's because we haven't configured it and we haven't installed the web component yet. That's not an issue. We're just going to stop the server now. We don't need that to be running whilst we do this. Saving chunks, that's good. So now we're going to go into our plugins folder again, and we'll see a new folder called Simple Playlist. We're going to open that up, and then we're going to open up the config file. You can open up uh, config.yml files in Notepad, though if you do, they end up looking something a bit skew if and a bit muddled. So I do recommend opening YML files with Notepad++ for Windows. Um, I'm not sure if there's some sort of equivalent on Mac. Presumably there's a program like it, but it's got some rando name that... Macintosh users think is really cool and flashy. But anyways, we're using Notepad++ on Windows. And this is what you'll see in the file. You'll see these three main settings um, and then like a few groups down here. So we've got our URL. This is where we're going to upload the web component, which is basically where you're going to go on your web browser to see the list. So where are you going to upload it to? Um, say mywebsite.com slash playlist. Um, except not there. For me, it is on my local host, on port 10, and I'm going to put it in playlist and receiver. So that's right. Now your passcode. This is important to make sure it's a secure code. Um, well, not so much secure, just something people aren't going to guess like really easily. Uh, because this is how your bucket server communicates with the PHP scripts. So you want to, you don't want to leave it default. That's not a good idea. I was going to, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. It is not a, it's not a secure code by any means. That's a terrible code, and I don't suggest you using it. But this is for the purposes of the tutorial. So I'm going to use that number. And now ranks are something that we will go into at, at another time. Maybe at the end of this tutorial. We'll see. But right now, we're going to leave those alone. You don't need to touch those. Those don't make any difference, really. They're just aesthetic value of your list. But we can worry about that later. So we've got our central setup. We've got our URL. And we've got our passcode. So we can actually close this now. And because I've set the URL, I've decided where I'm going to actually upload my PHP files, which we can go back into our downloaded files, where we had the plugin, web, and installation. And we're going to go into the web folder this time. And I'm going to see all these files here. This, this is what we want to upload to our web server. Um, for me, that is actually going to be over here. And uh, this is my web server here. It's just on my computer. So I'm going to create the new folder that I linked to. And it was called Playlist, because that was what my URL was playlist and then I'm going to drag all my files into that folder. Every single file in there, don't leave anything behind, you want everything there. So basically that's what you have to do here. One thing we have to do before our plugin is usable, we actually have to edit this config.php file. We're going to edit that. Um, you can just edit it with notepad, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be notepad++, just use notepad. The only thing we need to change in here is this passcode. We've got to make this passcode match the other one we entered. We can save that file and close it right now. Now what we're going to do, we're going to open up our web browser because we can set all the other settings for our playlist in our web browser, which is pretty cool. So my web uh, browser is going to be, so this is my playlist, sorry, when I um, go to it, oh, I haven't actually started my web server, sorry, we'll start that up right now, give that a second, and it's green, okay, there we go. So here's my playlist, it's on my computer. Um, now, if we want to edit any of the settings for this, which we do because none of that's right, we're going to go to slash editor. And it will say, please enter your passcode. My passcode is 123456. Submit. And we'll, we'll see this panel right here. Now, this update config button is only when you're updating the plugin. When you upload new files, you want to click that. Because when you do, 
it will make any uh, changes to the configuration file that are needed for it to operate correctly. Um, so you only use that when you need to update the file and all that sort of stuff. Right now it says zero changes are made because nothing needs to be updated. So we can just click edit configuration here. And here we get all our settings. The best way to show you how these work would be to actually start our bucket server. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to start up our server again because everything should be configured properly. And we should see simple player list being enabled. And there we go, enabled, and there's no errors afterwards. You've always got to check for the error just in case it says it can't connect for whatever reason. Um, but that's perfectly fine, so we can actually just minimize that now. Now what we're going to do, we're going to go back to our normal playlist, which was, if we just get rid of slash editor, this is our playlist here. So I'm just going to keep this on the side, because the really cool thing about this is we can actually edit the file, and edit all the settings of it, and view it at the same time. And it will update like automatically for you. So it's a very handy feature. So we're going to go back to slash editor again, type in our passcode, and in we go. So I'm just going to resize this a bit. And we're going to go into edit config. So my server name, you can call that whatever you want. It doesn't matter. I'm going to call it Flabberleaky server, as I have done before, clearly. I'm going to call it localhost. Um, this is your IP address. This is basically just for advertising your IP. As you can see on the left here, we've got all the explanations of what each of the settings are. Uh, but I'm just going to go through them anyways quickly for you. So this is my IP address, so it could be not four numbers, something like this, just an IP. You don't don't put a port on the end of it. You don't need to put a port on the end of it. That's not necessary, by the way, because a plugin does that for you. But I'm just going to call it localhost. Actually, no, we're going to call it 127.0.0.1, because that's another way of calling it localhost. Now this template thing here, I'll show you that in a minute. Uh, enable rank colors, This you can just read that there. We're not going to go into that right now. And enable faces, we'll leave that alone right now. So we're going to click save configuration, and it's saved. Give that a second, and that should just refresh with our new settings. It refreshes every 10 seconds, in case you're wondering, so we're going to wait a minute. There we go. Okay, so it says flybleaky server 127.0.0.1. So now we're going to join my server, and we'll see my name pop up in it. We don't actually need Minecraft open right now, so I'm just going to minimize that. There you go, my name's in the list already. That's pretty good. So we're going to go back into our edit config. Now we're going to look at this whole face config. What is this What is this so-called face config section? What does enable faces? Um, faces basically displays my skin's face next to my name. Um, and it does require PHP GD. And also a whole bunch of settings just popped up when I clicked that, so I'm just going to go over that. When you enable faces, you enable all these other settings below it, essentially. Um, so we're going to enable faces. We're going to save the configuration. And when it loads again, my face appears, which is pretty cool. So that's a, that's the face of my skin, which we can actually s confirm here in Minecraft. That's the same skin you can see on the web server there. So that's pretty cool. So we've got my skin showing there. Um, now what if we wanted to make it a bit bigger? Because maybe it's a bit too small. You can just change it here. You can either click these arrows or you can just type in a number. It goes all the way up to 9999, um, though I don't think you'll be using that size because that's incredibly large. We're going to use 32, just so you can see the size difference really easily. We'll just save that real quick. And that should resize in under 10 seconds, which we will see right about now. There you go. That was pretty good. <laughs> so there you go. Now it's 32 by 32. It's a bit blurry at the moment because faces only download every uh, hour. Because they are downloaded from an external website and resized and all this stuff, which is why it requires PHP GD for it to be able to work because it has to resize the images and save them and, and such. But anyway, so that's what our face size does, and that's what Enable Faces does. But what's this, what's this face grid down here? What does that do? If I just check that, we'll save it, and we'll see what it does. At first appearance, it's, it just appears to get rid of my name. And that's because I'm the only one in the server right now. But if we had more people, we'd see, a few, we'd see faces in a row, and then a new row started, and then a new row. So it'd just be a grid of faces, essentially. Um, and that's pretty cool if you wanted to do something like this. Say I don't want to display... Um, so yeah, I'll explain these little template things here as well while I'm at it. Name, basically, is a template for this section up here where it says the server's name. IP is obviously the IP. Players is the whole player section, every player that's online server. And slots is this section down here. So if I wanted to get only display players, I could just get rid of all these other tags and just leave players. And if we save that now, next time it refreshes, will only see my face because I've got rid of every other setting there. Just give it a second. Updates every 10 seconds. Keep that in mind. There you go. So now it's only showing my face. And if we had more people there, we'd have a few in a row, one here, one here, one here, and then a new row. Um, but of course, you can make the rows bigger or smaller with this setting right here. Obviously, it's, it's quite clear. 
Um, so basically, you can just go through all these configurations and play around with them, see what you get, see what you like, um, see what appeals to you. Personally, I like the default settings because that's how I program it. I programmed it how I liked it, so <laughs> that's what I did. But I'm going to turn off face grid as well because it's only one person on the server. And that face size is quite large. I'm going to turn that down to about 16 again. That's a nicer size. There you go. That is beautiful. So that's how you do it. It's really easy to play around with the, the display settings of your actual config, um, not config, your simple player list over here. And you just do it through the panel. It's really easy, really fun to play around with, and you can do a lot of stuff with it. And of course, in the future, new settings may be added in here. And if they are, you just got to update your config and it will be good to go. So guys, I'm Flavalicky, and thanks for watching this tutorial and using Simple Playlist.